Hi everyone, uh, this is Strentheana once again and um, it's been a while since my last video, just been a, a bit busy so I haven't really had the, the time or chance to share some of my purchases with you so anyway I thought I'd start the year with this new one so what you're looking at is the, um, the Battle Damage Classic Predator Mask uh, obviously this one was uh, on a one to one scale and it was limited to 750 pieces and it's still easily available over at Sideshow so if you're thinking of getting one hopefully this review will probably convince you but then again I do have a few things to say about it um, as usual the mask itself with the base weighs around about 7 or 8 kilos there's no difference there so I'm going to start showing you this front view obviously and you can see clearly there the battle damage perhaps a plasma blast there on the side overall I think the color isn't too bad if you were to compare this mask with the AVP one um, color wise this is a great mask and obviously when it comes to the lens, the mesh, you can clearly see it there. Again, it's a better piece when it comes to that. I'll just show you. Here. My only concern here was perhaps the mesh. Um, I would have loved to have seen some sort of backing behind the mesh. Um, I'll put something behind the mesh, sorry, is um, something similar to what you see with the wolf mask. If you've seen it, if you haven't, you can check out the video that I've uploaded um, and you can see what I mean. Uh, apart from that, you can clearly see it's, um, it's like a three-quarter mask. <laughs> Obviously, for the damage that you see there, it's going to put it on its side now. So you can get a better look at that and um, you can clearly see there the paint job they did on it nothing too spectacular not something that I'm really fussed about I guess anyway I wasn't too keen on buying it for the simple reason that I, I wasn't really impressed with the pictures that I saw over at Sideshow but I thought I have the other ones. It'd be good to have the the set. You can see there clear the silver colour there. Um, in terms of the base, no difference there. Exactly the same as the other ones. Same colour. I love the bases on these masks. They look superb. this side shot now and you can clearly see there again battle damage lead lights obviously operated by a battery no difference there again and you can see more battle damage there Well, obviously, out of the four masks that have have been released by Sideshow and this company K and BFX, I must say that this is the one that I'm least impressed with, and my favourite still remains the Tracker mask. Um, for those people who have been asking me about the ceremonial and stalker masks. No, I won't be getting those. I just don't want to get involved in collecting more things that had nothing to do with the official movie releases. Um, having said that, they do look good, but I'm just not interested. I am looking forward to the um, legendary scale bust of uh, 
the Predator 2 that's going to be coming out sometime this year. And um, that's really it when it comes to that. And uh, I'll just show you the back here. Like I said before, there's no difference with the base. I have mine, um, all the masks are wall mounted. And uh, there you go. Mask obviously is made out of fiberglass as usual. Proportion wise, you can clearly see here that it's thick on this side and a bit thin on the other. But it's not too noticeable, so that's okay. And that's about it, guys. I just wanted to show you a quick video of this. Don't want to keep it too long, don't want to bore you. And um, I guess I'll leave it at that. So, like I said, if you haven't made up your mind about it, it's still easily available over at Sideshow. But if I had to recommend a mask, I would say to you, go for the um, Stalker mask or even the Falconer mask. That's a great look, beautiful looking mask too. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. And just focus in right here. Not too much and leave it there so thanks for watching guys and um, you'll see a few more uploads coming up soon so thanks again and see you on the next one